Yeah, I know it's 9 points checklist, not a 10 points checklist. I really like to apologize to all the people with OCD. Sorry. Buenos dias, guys. I'm Andrew from 2FAS, and today I've got for you 9 points on how not to get hacked. First point, quite obvious for this channel, use 2FA. It doesn't really matter which method you will choose, text messages, emails, physical keys or mobile app, simply use 2FA wherever you can. Because imagine, if you enable 2FA on some service and somehow someone will get your login and password, they won't be able to log into your account because they do not know your 2FA codes. Second point, use password manager. First of all, you can have a different password for each service. Second of all, it's really comfortable to use. You can use it on your PC or Mac, you can use it as a browser extension, you can use it on your phone. Third point is randomize your passwords. Meaning if you are using password manager, use an option to create a randomized and long password different for each service. Now the fourth point, don't be lazy. I know it can be hard because as everyone else you want to live an easy life, but if you want to be safe, you have to comply to this. So for example, use a different service or app for password manager and a different one for 2FA. Log out each time you're finished using any service and delete all your unused accounts. Simply erase your digital footprint. Fifth point, do not share your password. I have a 12 years old kid and I know from other parents also that it is quite popular among young people to share their passwords. Now, please do not share your passwords. And if you have a kid, please teach them not to do that. But if you somehow did share your password to any service, don't worry, simply find an option, log out from each device, use it and immediately change your password. Sixth point, be suspicious. Be suspicious of any emails or calls you are getting from banks or services that are asking you for your data. Remember, it's really easy to send an email from any address and it's really easy to call someone from any number. So if you are suspicious of a mail, simply contact the service by yourself and ask if they send it to you. And if there are some links linking directly to the service, don't click them, simply log into the service and click through the service manually. And if you are suspicious of a call, simply ask which department you are talking to, disconnect and call the service or a bank by yourself. Seventh thing is updates. Remember to update your operating system on your Mac, on your PC, on your phone. Remember to update your apps. Remember to update your software and drivers. Because if there is any security bug in software, developers will surely fix it really quick and release an update. Eighth point, use firewall. Well, sometimes you can be in a rush and download some software or click some links that you are not sure of. And in that situation, firewall will protect you. And the last ninth point is use encrypted messaging service. There are a lot of messaging services out there, but choose, use and convince your friends and family to use those which have end-to-end -end encryption. For example, there is WhatsApp or Signal. Personally, I've chosen Signal because it's more private and have a lot of safety features. And that's it. Well, not exactly. You OCD people now will be happy because I have a 10th bonus point for you. There is a service called haveIveBeenPound.com. Of course, I will link it in the description. On that service, you can check if either your email address or phone number is in a data breach. So, I use 2FA, I use Password Manager, I'm not lazy when it comes to safety, I don't share my passwords, I am a little bit suspicious of calls and emails, I do update everything, I have a firewall, and I use end-to-end -end encrypted messaging service. So in theory, I am hack-proof, but please do not check it. Okay, and that's it for this video. If you think I've missed anything, please use the comment section to correct me. And if you find this video useful, simply share it with your friends and family. And remember to subscribe to our channel. See you!